Hello everybody, my name is RJ and today I'm going to be showing you the best calculator you can buy. This calculator is for any student really, but engineering students in particular. Alright, real quick guys, before I get into the rest of the video, I just want to say that I am in no way sponsored by Texas Instruments, who happens to make the exact model that I will be discussing in this video. All points and arguments made by me are my own personal opinion and from my own experience. Now with that, let's get into the video. Alright everybody, let's get into it. The best calculator you can get right now is the TI Inspire CX with Computer Algebra System on board or CAS. There is another TI Inspire CX but doesn't have the Computer Algebra System and it's a little bit different but I'll be explaining that later on in the video. For now, let's focus on the one with the computer algebra system, this one right here. This calculator is absolutely amazing. It will help you if you're in math, if you're in algebra, if you're in calculus, if you're an engineering student or math student or any student really, but this is very math and science heavy, so if you're in like pre-algebra, you don't need something of this caliber you're only gonna need it if you're actually in a very rigorous math course that requires integration and derivative capabilities. With that being said, this covers every possible class, like it has algebra stuff, anything in calculus, it has derivatives, integrals, you know, factoring, that stuff is absolutely amazing and it saves so much time. It is better than any other calculator that I've ever seen. That being said, a lot of people compare it to the TI-89 Titanium and from my experience, this is way more user friendly. This has colors, which the TI-89 does not. This has like word processing, I mean you you can write notes and everything in, in this one, but I mean with that aside, just basic capabilities of the calculator, this has more. Its 3D graphing abilities are way better than the TI-89. It's a lot better to look at. It's easier on the eyes. And a lot of people also say that the TI-89 has more processing power, but I've compared problems with my TI Inspire against my friend's TI-89 and Mine can calculate super complex problems way faster than his can. So I just want to debunk those right away and continue on with this. It's very, very user friendly. It has a full keyboard on the bottom so you don't have to press control for all the buttons and everything. It's got keyboard shortcuts, all the stuff you want to see. I'm actually going to have some more videos explaining how to use this because it is very complicated. I will have some more videos, so check out my channel for more of those. But this calculator right here has so much more than even I know how to use right now. I've been using mine for a year now and it has gotten me so much better grades. It has made me prepare for tests way better. It is absolutely amazing. It has everything from statistics to algebra to calculus, like I said before, but I use this thing every single day. And I know that when I'm older and I have a career, I will still be able to use this because it is that precise and that good. Okay, so let's get into the difference between the TI Inspire CX with Computer Algebra System which is what I have and what I suggest that you buy to the TI Inspire CX without the computer algebraic system. Okay, price difference. The TI Inspire without it, without the computer algebra system, is $129. With it, it is only $10 more, 139 at this current day on Amazon, of course. The $10 is so much more worth it. It is $139 for a calculator. I realize that that is absolutely insane, but it is so, so worth it. If you want an A, if you want to learn, 
you need to get this calculator. It is worth the extra money. Now, as far as what the extra $10 gets you, it doesn't get you like more processing power or anything like that. Not that you care anyway, it's a calculator. But it does get you a so much easier way of putting in problems. I will put some examples up on the screen as far as like solve versus numeric solve. The way that you punch your problems in on the computer algebra system one, the one that I have, you put it in a more intuitive way. It looks just like it does on the paper. It's got the integral symbol. I don't even know what it's called. That's how ridiculous this is. But um, I don't know what it's called. But it has all the same symbols that you would use on the paper. You can literally punch it in just like it is on your sheet, on the problem sheet. Now, with the TI Inspire without CAS, you really can't do that. Like on the solve example, instead of putting in um, the exact way you solve it, you have to do this numeric solve and you have to put a lot more commas and everything. And with my experience, you're going to make five times at least more errors when you have to punch it in like that. When you don't punch it in just like it is on the paper, you're bound to make mistakes. Everyone does. But this is why you need the computer algebra system. It looks just like it does on the paper, and you can't make mistakes putting it in. Obviously, you can, but they're a lot easier to catch is what I mean. All right. So now it's time for my warnings about this calculator. This calculator is no joke. It will make you dumb if you let it. And what I mean by that, don't take offense or anything. What I mean by that is you can't let it do everything. If you're in Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry, Trig, it will do the class for you. It will do anything, and it will do it in less than a second. It is absolutely insane. What this is used for is higher level maths. We don't need to, you know, write out a half page to solve for X of some gigantic polynomial. This will find it for you, and it will find it fast so you can keep going on the problem. This will do all of that stuff very quickly, and you will not learn if you're in, like, a lower level math. You need to learn the algebra. You cannot just skip that by getting this calculated. You will need all those skills in the long run anyway, so do not cheat yourself by letting this calculator do all the work for you. Now, I know you're probably confused right now. I just told you to get this calculator, and now I'm telling you not to use it. This, just be clear, this, I'm not saying that this is not a good tool. This is the best tool you can have. It is amazing for studying. You just have to know how to use it. For example, I try to work stuff out on my homework. I work out the problem, and if I don't know what the answer is, I, I get stuck. I punch it in the calculator, and I see what form the answer is, and then I can, you know, kind of check the sheet, and I can see if I might be able to derive where I'm getting that answer from, so I can go back and try to figure out the problem on my own. Where this is also helpful is for tests. I know that when you're taking a test, you, you're probably timed, and you need to be as accurate as possible, obviously. This saves so much time on tests, and you will make far less mistakes than you would without it. You need to know the material ahead of time so you know what to do and you can check your answers because this is not 100% right all the time. It, it's about 98% for what I can tell. But the problem is, is that the form that this gives it to you is not always what you'll have on your paper because this goes to, most likely, the farthest simplified form. So if you have a form, uh, if you have an answer on your paper that isn't 
fully factored and whatever, then this is going to look like it has a different answer, but it might be the same answer, you just haven't foiled your problem out, or your answer out, I mean. So, be careful. You have to know how to do the math. This is just for checking your answers and saving time. It's a great tool, but with great power comes great responsibilities. This will save you time on tests, it will help you with your homework, it will get problems right, like I said, 98% of the time, and 90% of those other 2% uh, that it's wrong is most likely because you put the problem in wrong, which doesn't happen very often anyways. Alright, so with that being said, final points to cover are that this calculator is expensive. It is $139 on Amazon, but it is so worth it. I would get this calculator if I were in a, high ma a higher math class or physics class or any engineering or math realm class, uh, any of those, or if you're going to be. For example, I got this in high school in AP Calculus because I know I'd be going farther. If, you're, if you have the same path, if you plan on being an engineer, buy this now. The sooner the better. But do not let it take you over. Like, do not let it make you dumb. It is better than the TI-89, in my opinion. I will cover, I will answer any other questions about this calculator and any uh, comparisons about the TI-89. From my experience, this is better. If you're going to spend all this money on a calculator, you should definitely buy the one with computer algebra solving. It's only 10 bucks more, but it's worth at least 60 to $80 more, in my opinion. But it's only 10 bucks more, so if you're going to spend the money, get it. It's that much better. You will get that many more problems right. It is so worth it. I cannot stress that enough. With that being said, that's all I got for today. If you have any questions, drop them below in the comment section. Or if you want to learn how to use this, go check out my channel. I'm going to be posting some videos on how to use this and also some other math videos. So... All that is soon to come. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.